Welcome to the first video in our Getting Started series for Invoke. In this video, we'll guide you through the basics of generating your first image. By the end, you'll have a solid foundation to begin creating and navigating Invoke with confidence. Let's start with a little tour of the Studio interface. The prompt area is where you define the core text prompts for generating your image. This section allows you to input the positive and negative prompts, giving you full control over the elements you want to see and those you want to avoid in your image. Additionally, with prompt templates, you can select from preset templates that automatically append keywords and phrases to your prompts. You can also save your own custom prompts as templates for future use. The image panel controls the size and dimensions of your generated image. You can adjust aspect ratios or optimize the size for the model. You also have the option to set a seed, which is a specific series of numbers that determine the starting point for the random noise used to generate your image. If you set a seed, you'll get consistent results, meaning every time you use that seed with the same prompts and settings, you'll generate almost identical images. This is useful when you're fine-tuning prompts or experimenting with subtle changes. If you prefer to explore new outcomes each time, you can leave the seed setting on random, which will generate different images with every generation, even if you use the same prompt. Denoising strength is a setting used when refining or editing your images and controls how much of the original image's detail is removed and regenerated during the image-to-image -image process. Think of it as a slider that lets you choose how much of the current image gets changed. A lower denoising strength, closer to zero, means the model will make smaller, more subtle adjustments to the image, keeping most of the original details intact. A higher denoising strength, closer to one, means the model will make bigger changes, giving the image a more dramatic transformation. The Generation tab is where you choose the model and concepts that power your image generation. By selecting a model here, you're deciding the overall style, composition and performance characteristics of your generation. You'll find a variety of models available in Invoke, Depending on your goals, you can switch between models, as each model may have specific strengths and weaknesses. You can also apply concepts, sometimes called LoRa models, which act like plugins and add specific guidance to your generation. Compositing, Refiner and Advanced tabs are part of the advanced settings in Invoke. These features allow for more complex workflows and refinements, but for this beginner series we won't be covering these settings. The canvas is where you can visually refine and adjust your image after it's generated. In future videos, we'll dive deeper into how to use the canvas effectively, showing you how to layer different elements, use the brush tools and refine your image to bring your vision to life. For the purposes of this video, we'll mostly be using the viewer, which is a window you can open by clicking in Open Viewer in the top right corner of your studio. The viewer sits on top of the canvas and shows you the image you have selected in the gallery. The Layers tab is where you manage and control the different elements of your image. Much like layers in other image editing software, each layer in Invoke serves a specific function, allowing you to break down your generation recipe into distinct component parts. We'll go into more detail later in the Getting Started series on how to use the different layer types to guide your generation process. Now that you are familiar with the studio, let's create our first image. We'll start by entering a basic prompt in the positive prompt box. Here's a prompt for a futuristic urban park. Next, we'll enhance the prompt by selecting a prompt template. For this image, we'll choose the environment art template. You can toggle the view mode to see what terms the template is appending to your prompt. Make sure you've selected a model from the generation tab. We'll use the default Juggernaut Excel model for this example. There are two ways to generate in Invoke. You can either send to canvas, which will stage your image in the canvas for further editing and adjustments, 
or you can send to gallery, which will save the generated image directly to your gallery as a downloadable, recallable file. For this example, we'll choose send to gallery. And choose how many iterations you want to generate and press the invoke button. After a few moments, you'll see the generation process begin and your images will appear in the gallery. Refining and adjusting your creations is one of the most rewarding parts of using Invoke. As you experiment with different prompts, templates, layers and models, you'll see your ideas evolve into unique, polished results. In the next videos, we'll cover how to use the canvas for deeper refinement and customization, giving you even more control over your projects.